Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the third week of uh, March read start from the 15th to 21st of March 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Leo. So Leos, let's see what is coming in for you for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards and color cards in this reading so stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you. It is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that are offered as well in the description box. So let's see, Leo, what can you expect coming up for you for this week time? 15th through 21st of March. Let's begin. Queen of Cups. King of Pentacles. Hold on. Eight of Cups. Five of Wands. Five of Cups. I need the deck. We do have Ace of Wands. I really feel like, you know, for a majority of your Leos, um, you have love for a person who is probably a workaholic, somebody who is um, never giving enough time to you. You're always disappointed with the way they treat you. You're always disappointed and stressed out with the way they act in this connection. It seems like, you know, you are the one who's handling the connection. You are the one who's taking care of the connection. Otherwise, things would have been completely off between you and the person. I really feel like you know you ho you have a strong feeling for this person. You have a strong emotional attachment to this person. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign for some of you, but whatever the case is, I really feel like you know there is lack of. Uh, um, it seems like you know there, there's lack of compatibility between you and your person, which is the reason why you are having a lot of uh, you know ups and downs in this connection. I really feel like you know this week is going to be like any other week uh, for majority of you where you know you will be having your 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 fights and arguments with the one that you're dealing with because of the same reason they want you they want your time or you want them you want their time but they are not giving the time so there will be a lot of clashes coming in for you and your person uh, during this uh, week time which is again going to be a disappointing um you know uh, energy in the relationship uh, you are going to feel like, you know, you are not getting loved, you are not getting taken care of, you're not like, you know, given the value that you need to be given. Um, I feel like, you know, for the majority of you, you are going to decide. Uh, just be mindful, the energies could come reversed for some of you as well, so just pick how it is resonating with you. But I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, you are going to feel like um, you are tired of it, you are tired of the cycle, you are tired of, like, not getting loved by a person. Um, even though you have so much of love for them but at the same time i feel like you know you are going to feel um so very bad during this week time that you would feel like uh giving up on them i really feel like you know you will feel like the need to give up on them uh because they don't understand you you don't understand them so there is like for majority of you probably there is like you know no chemistry between the two of you left as well maybe you started off very good maybe you you had a good connection maybe you had a good time together but I really feel like you know, your way of looking at love, their way of looking at love is completely different. So I really do see some differences coming up for you. Arguments, disagreements coming up for you. Uh, you will have your concerns. You will feel like your person is ignoring you for, for some other reasons. Probably you will feel like you know they have a third party situation, um, which can be the case for some of you as well. But at the same time, I really feel like you know it's just because of the work or the responsibilities or their passion towards you know career and everything which is going to make you feel like you are being ignored. Um, I really feel like you, know, you are going to feel neglected by this person. Um, it seems like you know, you're going to feel like your person loves you only when they need you sexually. Otherwise, they don't even give a fuck. That's what you're going to feel during this week time. That is, again, is going to make you feel so bad, so um, low about yourself in this, in this you know, whole connection 
that that is going to make you have a lot of like you know stress coming up for you during this week time even though i really feel like you know the reality is not what you're perceiving it to be to be honest i really feel like your person is not ignoring you it's just the way they are you know probably you you are expecting way too much from this person because they cannot give you what you want probably you are dealing with somebody who is um uh, not the type of you know the person that you that you want them to be um, you got to either accept them the way they are or you got to kind of like probably move on if, if that's you know what is causing the stress here because I really feel like you know even though it's a general read but I really see like you know you see them as somebody who is ignoring you but they are acting normal for themselves so I really see that there is a clash there itself. Like, you know, your way of uh, perceiving the situation is different than their way of perceiving the situation. They believe that you love them, but you believe that they use you sexually only or they are there for you only when they need you sexually. And, uh, you know, when, when they have fun times, they are good with it. But when it comes to commitment and love and relationship, they are kind of like, you know, completely off. But in actuality, that's not the case. Um... It's just that they are like, you know, so occupied with something going on in their work front, which is, uh, or maybe they have responsibilities of their family or, you know, maybe they are taking care of that. But you are not going to understand that. I really feel like, you know, you will be having issues with your person and because of lack of communication and lack of kind of connectivity between you and your person, there is going to be issues coming up for you during this week time. And probably if you have people around you or they have people around them, who are even feeding you or them with some more negativity. I really feel like you know, it's just going to get tougher with every passing day for the two of you, especially with no contact situation or very less contact situation. Things are going to get be uh, bad for you uh, in this connection. I really feel like, you know, um, for you, you know, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you, you want this person to give you the commitment. You feel like, you know, if and when you are committed to them or they are married to you, things are going to be different but your person is not ready for that they don't want to feel pressured to kind of like you know take things next level um i really feel like you know there will be some sort of uh, uh, fight and argument that's going to take place during this week time for you even though you love them they have feelings for you too but their way of loving is different so you you have your disappointment for sure with this person you will never be satisfied with what they have to offer because they are doing their maximum right now and you are not at all fulfilled with that so i really see some conflicts coming up for you for this week time let's see what colors could be lucky for you or significant for you for this week time black find richness from the dark night number 28 black color is going to be lucky or significant for you 28 could be a significant number for you as well black color you can wear it in the in in, in uh, you know clothing you can have it on your sheets on bed uh you can wear black jewelry if you want but i really feel like you know for majority of you right now you're seeing all and everything as dark but maybe there is something more to come from the situation that you're not expecting of right now um i feel like you know for some of you probably you want things to rush forward and the way things are delayed and stagnant probably that is causing you to have stress right now but i really feel like you know something good is going to happen as an outcome to the whole situation that you're dealing with um but i really feel like you know for some of you probably you're going to choose to move on from the situation let's see one more card here watermelon have fun with your inner child number three I really feel like you know you're done and tired with this energy that you have around this connection probably it's getting way too toxic you really want to break free from this energy for some of you probably you're going to choose to break up with this person um because of the same reason i really feel like you know you're you're not willing to be there in this situation anymore that's what i'm picking up for majority of you so maybe for some of you the breakup might take place um whether it be a mini breakup or whether it's something that's going to stay forever but I really feel like you know you're gonna feel happy after cutting ties with this person uh, for some reason because there is a lot of dark energy right now around your connection with this person so breaking free from it would be the right thing because I really don't see you kind of gelling well with each other during this week time at least so staying apart would be still better than fighting 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 because it's just gonna make things even more messier is what I'm picking up watermelon color and the black color is going to be significant let's see some miracle guidance for you for this week time I really feel like you know you are unable to understand each other you're completely on a different frequency right now and there will be like more issues more issues coming through 
Uh, the energy is gaining momentum. I really feel like the, the negativity is definitely gaining momentum here. The stress is definitely gaining momentum here. So I really feel like you know, this energy that you're having between each other is going to expand in, in the times to come. Look at the bigger picture. Now, I really feel like you know, for some of you, you could be dealing with another fire sign as well. But whatever the case is, um, it's, it's very important for you to look at the bigger picture right now. Um, in both terms, like, you know, if you are willing to have a future with this person, you got to understand that this person is the way they are. You you don't have to change them to, to, to get them the way you want them to be. Because I really feel like, you know, maybe they started off with you acting completely different than the, what they actually are, which is the reason why they are completely changed or vice versa. But if you really want this connection to work still, Either you accept them the way they are or you got to kind of like, you know, look at the final decision around this connection because I really feel like, you know, the situation or the issues that you're having right now in this situation in this with this person during this week time, they are going to start getting worse with the passage of time. So make sure that you know what you're doing with your life and with the with this connection as well. So I really feel like, you know, this, this is not going to be a good uh, week um, overall because I really see very dark energies coming around you and your connection with this person but it it might like you know it's it's again you know even if it's getting dark here that doesn't mean you don't deserve love or something like you know probably god wants you to kind of break free from this connection so you could find somebody who is exactly how you want your love life to be with somebody who's fun somebody who's giving somebody who's like exactly this energy like you know fun and living and you know their life to the fullest this person that you're currently dealing with they are kind of dead wife is what I'm picking up. They are not invested in the connection the way you want. Probably you want some young person, some young energy. This person is not that kind of a person. So I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you will have to make up your make up your mind because you cannot change this person. So if you really want to have some, like, you know, lighter and fun energy, probably you will need to move on from them. Let's see some oracle guidance for you for this week. Your guidance is uh, divinely guided. I feel like you know, this card came out for almost three signs that I did today. Um, the divine really wants you to know one thing. Like, you know, whatever decision that you take during this week time, it is going to be guided by the heavens. So don't have your your uh, concerns around it. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. I feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to kind of, uh, you know, know what is good for you. Being with this person, being in this situation, does it make you happy? If not, then it's time for you to move on. But if sticking around, this person is not as horrifying as it seems like with these cards, then probably you can stick around. But you have to know one thing for sure, that this person is not going to change. So you have to accept them the way they are. So that's what it is. Um, if it was of help, if, uh, if it did help you in any possible way, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read uh, for you guys, take care. And uh, if you are willing to purchase any of the services, that I offer um, to manifest what you want. Check the description box for that. Till I do the next read, take care, bye.